Lovely. Here we are, having one of our kitchen chats. Actually looking over at the camera that is balancing on the Jungle Book book. What do they use? They use Jungle Book for scouts, don't they? <clears throat> Placed around the table. I, was in, I love scouts. <clears throat> Good. You weren't in it. I could tell you did. Yeah, I did. Can you tell that I didn't do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are. Yeah, I can, but I don't think you've... You're doing great. Thanks, love. No, I think you're... You're very practical part of things. Good. Inside the house, really. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more beneficial I'm for men to do it. I'm not so much to be outside either. Yeah. I feel like it, it scouts predominantly outside. It's scouting around. Excuse me. Uh, I want to do more of these chats between me and you to mm -hmm. say some of the stuff we just don't get around to saying in our lovely mm -hmm. your lovely interviews with people. Thank you, my darling. Mm. I think some of the subjects would just leave people hanging out to dry a bit and we don't want to do that. We want to just keep it... Keep it nice. Keep it... Nice is a terrible good, word, but it is. The true and the beautiful with the, with, the, yeah, it's... with the families and maybe touch on some of the more controversial ones ourselves. If people are up for it, that's great, but not everyone's up for it, Maria. Mm -hmm. And that's fair enough. We're up for it, babe. Yeah. And I think we ought to be as well. What, me and you? But not everyone else. No, it's our channel. Yeah. Yeah, we should take it on. Take it on. And so, about to, get, about to get controversial. In fact, a few of the people we've been listening to recently are very controversial. Mm, very encouraging. Actually, all over the place. Yeah, yeah, because they're still controversial for us because they're not... Completely going with the Catholic teachings. Louise Perry. Yeah. Peter's new bit on the side. Louise Perry. It's <laughs> always mm. listening to her. I've spent a lot of time listening Spending to her. Spending time with Louise Perry, yeah. Another woman. You're, and you're Kurt, what was it? Who's the other lovely lady? You're sometimes in the same room as me. Very upfront. When you're? With my two new girls. So Louise Perry is... She's about your age, I think. And she is a, a journalist. And she wrote... She's, yeah. done, she's written some book. I forget the name of it. She's a regular column in something. Yeah, she wrote the Daily Mail and the New Statesman, which one's a kind of righty mm -hmm. publication, the other's a lefty publication. I liked... I was, I was listening she, to... Anyway, her. I think we should plug her book, since we're going to plug her. Her book is something, The Case Against Feminism, or... Oh, God, I thought it was sex reimagined or marriage reimagined. That sounds like a corny Catholic novel. I don't think it is that. I think it's to oh. do with the sexual revolution or what went wrong. Or... Okay, well, now we're just plugging all sorts of something. Yeah, yeah, all buried, those but... books, all those books, great <laughs> Look books. Look her up. She's great. So she speaks really well. She's well backed up. Yeah, she's... Completely secular. She hasn't come around to all the Catholic moral teachings, not even, not even nearly, actually, but... No, she's not she's religious. Not Catholic, she's not she makes she's a Catholic. point of saying, I think, and some somewhere she's not religious. Yeah, but we it's totally data. She's just crunched the data. She's crunched the data, and a she lot. said initially she was writing her book, and she wanted to, well, you know, she's considering our audience, and she she appreciates that she's going to have some people that are very conservative, but also very progressive, and how could she kind of marry that all together in her book? And she just concluded that she wanted to write the truth. So... Now, one of the lines, one of the great takeaway lines I really like is... Mar I can't even remember it. Marriage is a feminist proposition. Is the Or maybe the best feminist proposition. Mm. Something like that. Which is a great line. And she's, she's like, gentle and graceful. She's not heavy and... She is not. Shouty she is or attacking. Real UK. She's, she's a real Brit. She's yeah. totally measured and... Mm. A kind of, a kind She's of probably a dark to, whip yeah. purring under the surface, mm. I think. But so, what's she getting at, Peter? What is it that attracted you to? Yeah, because she's talking Ms. like Perry. a cat. She's talking. Mm. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> no, she's talking like a Catholic. Maria. She's saying stuff that 
not even pre sound a Sunday. And really. she's, she reminds me of, I just, <laughs> just give a little plug for my favourite. Yeah, yeah, your, my favourite lady at the moment your is. Your favourite lady? Victoria Gillick. What a woman. If you've not got this book, it's great. A Mother's Tale. I'm definitely, I'm definitely plugging this one. Sadly, it's not in print anymore, but there are a lot available on. It's probably, just sort of... it's probably on a Catholic bookshelf in a lounge near you. Yeah. With the signature at the front. Like that photo of your cool. sister and Amelia. That was in every lounge up north for a long time. Not when my sister Catherine met, met the Pope. The Pope, yeah, with Pope Amelia. Pope John II. Very cool. See everywhere. Mm. So, um, it does remind me because the wonderful Victoria Gillick it's wrote quite, this book in the 80s. There's quite a few extramarital women in our lives at the moment, Maria. There are some um, agony aunts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, not really agony aunts, but just wonderful women. And this, she's talking about the sexual revolution and what they proposed. And this is very, this marries up with what Louise Perry Yeah. Says. Once you start scratching about. Yeah, a very, pat- very similar things like this. Pattern forms, doesn't it? Yeah, so I'm reading this book, and actually, it's so good, this book. I'm enjoying it so much. I've never read a book to you. I'm saying this in a funny way. I'm telling you. <laughs> telling you. Um, we haven't sort of read a book to each other so kind of strictly. Read, bits we've had. You do read the good book on the way to Mass to us all. Oh, yes. We always have the good book. And you are a lovely reader. Thank you, darling. You are. Well, this was so good that I started reading it and I came to Peter so often with a little extract that became a bigger extract and then we kept reading on. It's actually, we're pretty much reading it together. I just get little bits of extra time by myself, right? It's replaced Imitations of Christ as the yeah. top go-to book for a page or two. That yeah, we down. yes, that's true. You don't feel quite so heavy after reading this one. But still, look, it's full of... She is really consoling me. So, A Mother's Tale, and it's really... I do, it's, it's actually changed my mothering. There's a lot of things I'd worry about, and especially being in, surrounded by um, people who are not Catholic and people who choose to limit the size of their families. You can kind of start feeling a bit guilty about being the one in the supermarket where you do have a few extra children that are going to kind of run off or... Um, is a bit noisier or, you know, whatever. Do you really feel that? Well, I didn't think you I did in. until I read this book and I thought, <laughs> right. she's so great. I've been, I've actually been sort of withholding or those sort of things. I'm very proud to bring my children into the supermarket, but at times, you know, you, I love going to supermarket, you feel yeah. like you're the kind of, or, or you feel like maybe you're the needy one because people give you the extra clothes or, you know, shit. She, Victoria Gillick, just goes for it. She takes all the, the yep, handouts she does, and yeah, yeah, she it. is so generous with her time. It's it's just it's an absolute wonderful, with all entertaining, dog ears, I... funny, heartening book to read. And it's a short reading just around the corner. Yeah, and she's um, yeah, she's saying very similar things to Louise Perry and. What's this pearly girl? Yeah, there's another girl. Oh my, so once you kind of go down one route on YouTube, it can coughs up more. Yeah. Really? Another really... Pearly things or yeah, something. Yeah, something pearly things or something. Saying a lot... And she's getting out there people... with a billboard yeah. saying abortion is... A cop-out. A cop-out. But that's not her main gig. I think that's just a kind of side gig. No, she, she seems to discover a lot of these things. Right. Anyway. Is it, what I think it is, both of them are touching on what has happened since the sexual revolution. Yeah, and as it, it's just been... And totally from a secular angle, they are saying, not, not cool. Out. Yeah, it's not working out. Yeah. And this is what our dear Victoria Gillick was saying. Because and they're saying this with more vigour than... They are. We, we, we are, <laughs> yeah. as like a kind yeah. of collective body of Catholics. Yeah. Anyway. And who knows for all these reasons that we feel bad to share the truth. I mean... <laughs> we're just, we're, like everyone else, we're just oh, sorry. coping coaxed into keep quiet stay under a rock be out of sight we've advanced you can do your medieval thing but just we'll get on with running the show but the show is not the music's stopping yeah anyway we've watched it play out and 
practical working it's out. It's a mess. Yeah, it's a mess. If you think it's just the people you know in your life or they've split up or mm. you know, oh, it's just it's just I know some of the messes, but they're everywhere. A lot of messes, Maria. Mm. And I don't really patronise either, you know, there's like wonderful people out there that live in all, all different ways. I, I think, like, yeah. we need the truth and we need people to, you know, when you restrict something, it's for, yeah, in, it, in no, God's no, law. No boundaries it's for, has not worked out. It's for out more goodness, for, for more good, more beauty, more happiness. Not necessarily happiness, okay. But not necessarily not happiness either, Maria. It's a big yeah. adventure, isn't it? And in the big good, adventure... A good thing. You can find your happiness. Yeah. I want people to get to heaven, so, truth. Yeah, they ain't onto that yet. There's a few things they ain't onto, which we need to get into the debate. What so, are look, our two new girl mates? Just everyone. Oh, everyone? Yeah. Come on then, hit me. I can't. I'm, <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat oh, yeah, that you're going to do a reading. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaping <laughs> up there for a while. Well, what she just summarises that marital relations, they said, would be more stable, more harmonious and less anxiety ridden than ever before because of this new attitude towards uninhibited sex and carefully controlled procreation. Efficient contraception would at last bring about that equality of men and women, both sexually and economically, and would rid the world of such horrors as mar marital rape and wife bashing. The obs the abused, unwanted child would finally fade away into the realms of history with the emergence of this technological revolution in female fertility control. It worked out that way. It's all, it's like in a horrible way, it's laughable. What was in your a mate? sort of non laughable way, it's What was laughable. your new mate saying at Madden's, Mr. Madden? Because you were saying it's pretty graphic in the Old Testament, everyone gets killed and. And he was saying in and the Old Testament, and they get married to loads of people. Yeah, and in the Old Testament, they show you, they yes. let you see what happens. Yes, it kind of feels like we're back on those terms with God. He's going to yeah. say, "Right, look, here we go. You want to do it, play it out. Yeah, play it out. Here you go. Right. Yeah. And it's not. And people are coming around, aren't they? Because without being religious, a lot of kind of people that are thinking conservatively. Yeah. And then. Kind of working their way up, maybe the back of the minds to kind of a pre-Christian. Well, it was a pre-Christian world, wasn't it? So ultimately, they are working themselves towards what you would call, we would call, the old Catholic, yeah, <laughs> Catholic values, Catholic worldview. Um. So she then goes on to say that the Pope popped up in the midst of all of this. Go on, that tech, sorry, that technology is yeah the pill, isn't it? Essentially, is what she's on about. Yeah. Which is what. My new mate, Louise Perry. Just like that's a turning point. Yeah. And then, you know, she goes on, and, and again, very similar to Louise Perry, talking about the stats on divorce. And she says, in 1986, for example, almost half of the divorcees, divorces sorry, were granted on the first ground, which is... Um, oh, marital infidelity. And what was the other one? Unreasonable behaviour. So, marital in infidelity. So, over half divorces were granted on the first ground with 27,000 adulterous husbands, 19,000 adulterous wives, while the other half were granted to 57,000 wives because of their unreasonable behaviour because of the unreasonable behaviour of the men in their lives. And she she says, is it just possible, therefore, that there is some direct or indirect correlation between continuous contraceptive use and marital breakdown? Bing, bang, bong, in hops, Louise Perry. Or, this is 60 years on from this, the beginning of the sexual revolution, yeah, yeah, yeah. where we now have... Oh, but this is, and this is 1980s, she's written. This is the 80s, so, so this is 20 years after, yeah. and it's already very apparent. And interesting point you made there about the Old Testament, God letting it play out. Well, he does anyway, so we've got free will, but... I do things what I... Oh, sorry, Mum. Oh, yeah. yeah go right. on. I thought you were bracing yourself, in my yeah. opinion. Mm. Maybe. <sighs> oh, I think for, for Catholics, for 
if we're going to say no contraception, which is a really big ask, because you've got a lot of children and it's expensive getting a house, or hard even getting to rent, landlords don't let you, mm-hmm. don't like you having a lot of children, getting a car. Mm-hmm. Anyway, look, it's all pretty hard work. So, yeah, in Catholics might easily bemoan, you know, look to the sky and say, God, do us a favour. Uh, I wonder is the situation we're in justice for previous cultures or generations just slacking off and rejecting God. There's got to be justice paid. I don't know who's, some talk I heard where they're chatting about justice and God's justice has got to be perfect. It's not like he didn't see it coming or uh, he just didn't figure out how to work it all out. He has, because if God's perfect, he's got perfect justice. I I see. And I think that the reason it's so hostile now is He's because, allowing us yeah, to go through Yeah, because of our fallen, that we really are falling asleep at the wheel. And we've just been grinding along the barricade. Well, I think the barricade's going to run out pretty soon if I don't do something. And then once the just is paid, maybe, you know, grace gets thrown on the world and hearts are... Because we are seeing a lot of conversions, Mary, that... I know we've said this quite a lot in the episodes, but... I've only seen conversions like this ten years ago. I agree. Like in our in our community, in our personal lives, and just yeah, in our kind of wider field of mm. Uh, mm. Catholic communities, I do think that is a and like conversions <laughs> of like people that are God. in a part of their life where they're absolutely like stable. Because Youth Two Thousand is knocking out conversions. So exciting going to Youth Two Thousand every year, seeing all these gorgeous young people, and and it's great for Lani this year as well. But then also, and that's that's great. And then also to see it in. So, for example, our community where we're going to mass and things, of families that are in a, a place in their life where they're not kind of going to be moving and changing a lot more, like they're yeah. on the straight, sort of on the home straight, or you know. Anyway, so look, so what I definitely salute mm. the work of these kind of. You know, I think this just pearl lady is Catholic, but not practicing, and then mm. I'm just probably not Catholic, not religious. Do you salute their work? They're kind of. All right, so there's the pro- they're kind of describing the water that we're drowning in, but what we're going to do about it, and that's why they're really stumbling. So I think Louise Perry will say, her advice is, you know, get married and whatnot, but save yourself for three months when you meet a man. It works, yeah. Right, well, yeah. So, you know, what's yeah. that? It's just, why say marriage is... And she gets very stuck on abortion, which I just... Yeah, yeah, I just oh, think. Even thinking about it, it's just horrifying. And the other lady's pro-life, which is great to see. Yeah. But... I suppose the both Louise Perry makes the point about divorce laws were initially just for kind of the rare cases, and she makes the parallel abortion was just for rare cases. But look what's happened to them in sixty years to just become. She's not happy about those numbers. Yeah, she's not yeah. happy. But when you just have a kind of oh, just three months after you've met a guy, when you just have the small thing, ain't enough. It's yeah. gotta be. And also, it's it's just like a scale. It's like oh, three months. When is three months? Yeah. Are we all going to do three months? Is that a thing? Is everyone going to, how's everyone going to find out about yeah. this three-month thing? It's like pro-choice people saying, oh, it's, 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 a, hazy human be- it's a human being after four months or something like that. Yeah, and it's hazy no, and vague. Let's be honest. Marriage is absolutely definite. You stand in front of witnesses. It's, you know, public. It's dead it's... right. And me, they stand in front of me as well. Who's standing in front of you? The guy that might marry our daughter. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, so in front of the daddy. Right, yeah. yeah. Just want to big up my league for dads that I'm trying to build up. Leave mummy out of this. I was thinking of calling it the league of Barraclaw for dads, but people might think it's got some IRA connotations. But I do think we need some kind of brotherhood that will just take guys for a walk and explain the very dangerous facts of. But I would really like to hear a talk embarking from you on, on this. a romance with you one and of another, our daughters. You and another father. In a forest with a hole in it. Maybe or something, something very. They just sort of slip past. Oh, let me help you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Because <laughs> uh, this would have happened. Religious communities would have. 
had people standing up. Yeah, protect their but daughters. But also communities. Like, just let me finish. Oh. They would have protected their daughters, even if their daughters liked it or not, Mariah. That would have been a thing. Kind of is a bit of a thing in the back of some people's heads, but yeah, like those it would rules, have been a big thing. Yeah, and the rules that are in place, even like chaperoning and a family we went to in Cornwall recently was saying uh, a lovely young couple that met each other went on their first date Oh, I shouldn't ruin it, but somewhere abroad. But they had a chaperone with them. It wasn't that they wanted to go abroad. You'll see. You'll see. A pilgrimage. Um, but even having a chaperone, and that was... But if people are used to these things that are in place, but if they're not, it then feels like, oh, what's going on? Or don't go into, you know, you don't go into rooms by yourselves. Or all of these things that then come from the Catholic teaching, avoiding the near occasion of sin, yeah, yeah, yeah. comes back to where is the guidebook? Louise Perry's got this lovely idea for three months. Some of them might listen and it might, you know, work a bit for them. It but might stop the rock is, for a bit. Yeah. But where is the teaching and it's... Get married. In the Catholic Church is the Catholic teaching. So, um... Yeah, so I think this, this is a great opportunity for... Her. We've got to get out from under the... Because people are going to start lifting up the rocks and find us there. Yeah. Or we can push them up and say, look, hey... The popular culture is doing all this great work, but look, we're kind of we're sitting on the intellectual property, really, that it all came from. But we've got to get back in the in the race, Maria. <laughs> got to wake up, get Fist off the dip. barricade, yeah. Fist <laughs> uh, wind down the windows. Hey, come on, <laughs> uh, get in the race. Get the guys, but yeah, yeah. that is one of the reasons we want to get all our. Stories of our lovely families out there. No, I, I, th- I, th- it's just, it, I feel like it's a Marian army. It's, it's a Marian battle where Our Lady, how would Our Lady fight by being her like, completely graceful self and almost like un- which, unchanging and just being, showing. And I think by showing these families is quite a force. You know, if somebody. Yeah, you know, maybe you're amazing. watching the channel for it's the first time. People and living these lives, right? It's really powerful to build up this bank of all of these stories. Yeah. For want of not bigging ourselves up, I don't mean to be funny about it, but there are all these families living this great. Catholic life. And, you know, we're having a great time. You know, I'm not always good at it, and I do sometimes shout or whatever, but shout we are out. generally having a blooming great time I with the around. children, oh, being married, oh, children. <laughs> Even tonight at Rosary, maybe some of you joined the live. Maybe Peter will leave it on for more than five minutes. <laughs> um, Audrey, I looked over at Audrey, she's sitting in Lani's lap and Lani's, you know, thumbing the beads with her. and It was just so lovely and I thought... Oh, and then Rupert's sitting there while she was in there and then they move about and I just... It is wonderfully challenging and wonderfully joyful having a family. Yeah, it's been nervous That's when it. you say wonderfully challenging. Well, wonderfully, I like challenges. I need them. I don't always like them. It's true. But I do thank God for them. Because we want to get to heaven. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the... So and I, I think that's like, like a gorgeous life, isn't it? Like, yes, this challenge. Yes, it's, hard. it's not always easy. Um, I did like Louise Perry where she says... I think she says she starts on a premise. She calls them... Feminist prize, don't know what that means. But she said, she started, one of the premises she started from is that the obvious bond between the mother and the baby. Oh, because she and had a baby great, boy. And that lovely place to start, and it is yeah. so obvious. Mm. I, think, I thought off the back of that, well, look, it, isn't it obvious that there is some kind of spiritual element to the human person? To say that, oh, God... Oh, it makes my heart people, leap thinking about babies. When people... Just say, mm. our oh, religion is just your choice, therefore it shouldn't be in the norm of cultural thinking. But even like human rights, generally the morals we live in are all from Christian religious thinking. Yeah. But, you know, people don't want to dispose of them. And yet it is obvious that everyone is pretty happy at some level with them. So I think we've just got to get them kind of annoyed. re Mano- Yeah, I'm annoyed <laughs> and happy saying all these things. We've just got to get in the fight and... Yeah. State our case. There is, you know, why is there these connections and stuff and evolution, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And reach out to families that are, and people that are 
in all different stages of life, wherever you are, you might be a student or married or not married or whatever you are, grandparents, parents. And I think I have some consolation as well, like Peter's drinking his old man drink. Little age drink. (laughs) (laughs) Peter's drinking Ovaltine, which when we looked at the ingredients is actually not even healthy. (laughs) It's not as a lot of sugar. (laughs) It's just... I don't know. Kind of tastes nice and not nice. You feel like you're going to go to soup because it's got oats in it. Has it got oats in it? <laughs> Prefer porridge more, Marie. <laughs> I ate, yesterday I, I ate the children's leftover porridge from the morning at oh. night time. It was tastier than that. Dip up jam in it. I've got my absolute favourite water. It's delicious. I know that mine's unfunny, but it's so nice. It's so nice. It's life giving. <laughs> <laughs> don't you just feel that when you drink water it's just like oh I'm alive so lovely you know well keep enjoying your Ovaltine then old man <laughs> <laughs> it's probably tasty the Ovaltine so Peter um Louise Perry just oh, getting out there I what can say, we do to get out there I would say one in three people are doing? lip smackers uh oh, is she one? Am I one? Yeah, you're one. Yeah, okay. one in three. One in three of the people you interview do it as well. What really drew my attention to it was your brother. He stops listening to interviews if he hears too much of it. So I have to, I have to edit them all out. Right, golly gosh. I don't think you're gonna change the habit of a lifetime now, Maria. That's why you do it very carefully. Carefully, yes. Because Francesco just. It's, like, it's one of those barrel club at dads. Right. <laughs> Got to keep the standards high. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So, Peter, in summary. Oh, is that it? That's it, babe. That's not it. That is it. Yeah. I've got loads more. <laughs> loads more. I could dig into here. I've been folding pages for months on this book. And I actually... Let me say this, Maria, without you saying anything in reply. One of the most exciting days of my week. It would be lovely Mm -hmm. to get some of these people on the show. Mm -hmm. Real trailblazers. Yeah. 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 Um, I could almost cry with how much I love her and and this book and how wonderful her story is. We saw quite a few of her children, her grandchildren at the March for Life as well. Yeah, we did. You can see them about. Yeah, we did, yeah. Um, do you want something else? No. No. Good. I'll just read my notes. <laughs> Honestly, you could just open any page and just... Oh, yeah, what I think, yeah, so, so lo- one of the... What's the the third lady? Uh, I think just pearly things. Mm-hmm. Some of the content is not for children, let's just say that. Okay. Not It's not bad taste, I wouldn't say, but... Not for the faint of heart. Uh, she talks a lot about, I should throw it up front, ratings, you know, in the dating world. Like she talks about Tinder and people have a rating, I think one to ten. And even Tinder in the background gives people a rating. But it's very... Golly. It is golly, really. That really? kind of world of sexual revolution, really, isn't it? Contraception made, turn people into these... Based on look, yeah, I think the rating is based on looks, not right, okay. personality and charm and all those other lovely qualities that right. get us through life. And that attract you to somebody and make you want to be with them. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but she'll say, I suppose what, yeah, I'm not getting into it now, but what I want to say is, Whatever people's ratings are, there's something that happens in marriage that your experience can be. Let's say if a five and a five get married, or a five and a six, uh, I think their experience of life can be a nine or a ten. And uh, when, where was that guy that kicked off in the Oscars? Chris? Will Smith. Will Smith. Yes. You know, good looking guys, wife's very pretty, but oh dear. In his life, 
Oh, no, I wouldn't be in his shoes. All those things he was saying. Oh, I see what you're saying. He might have had a number 10 on yeah, appearance. Yeah, on Tinder he might have been, yeah, like <laughs> 9 or 10. His wife might have been a 9 or a 10. And that's what we've been reduced to. It's yeah, ridiculous. Like, he's married to this lady who... And they had some kind of strange affair. She had... And a they kind had of an open, open and, relationship. Oh, no, I'm so sure. I think, well... All these numbers that people get but reduced to. But then if we're to, upset if somebody says something about yeah, her. Yeah, says something about it. Hairstyles and that. Yeah. And from July be effing and blinding on a show that children watch. That is not very British. No, it's not very British. Not Not Catholic or graceful. Yeah, how happy can you be to be doing that, I think? The cracks are showing. The cracks have and are. And even Johnny Depp. Crevices. I watched some craters. of Watch some of the court case. Very funny. Oh, it was very funny. It was very funny. Unfortunately, we look, watched a couple and then they get clicking up, so you just say, I'll have a look at this one. <laughs> but look, how I think he's live probably a bit happier than Will Smith's because he's just so funny. He's, I don't know, he's got a funny ma- yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got such funny imagination, but like, still not working out with this lady and booze and some pretty degrading stuff. I think. For all those people that might feel their kind of numbers not that high or their material stats are quite low. But the church's teachings, even without the supernatural, can raise your, let's say, life experience to... Mm. Just following the rules. Without... Follow, yeah, following the rules even with or without a prayer life or a spiritual life. Is a good yeah, it's gonna, start. You're going to transcend your <laughs> status in life. It's a like, good start. It's yeah. a great start. And it's going to yeah. serve you better than the major BS that people have been drinking and lapping up for a long time. A long time, but actually, in in the history of the in the history of the world and how long things take to come round, you know, sixty years is. Short time, mummy. It's a short time, but a good time to look back and yeah, say, right. Yeah, make some real analysis. <laughs> yeah. Which I really salute. I can't. Not a good idea. I cannot praise this work high enough that's been done. By? Uh, Louise Perry. Oh. I think other people are doing, yeah. I, think, I don't yeah. think she's. Her work does seem to be like stand apart, but other people are joining the dots up. It's not kind of. She's not a voice in the wind. Yeah. What there is. Anyway. But there needs to be. It's great all these other commentators doing it that aren't particularly religious or fallen non practicing And let's face it, it's not a lot of English people doing it. And yeah, and let's face it, not a lot of religious people doing it. <laughs> mm. I think as well, like, look, nice to, just look at our community to listen to. in our parish, which we go to Mass like super early, all right, just get off the... It is hard work. When it says super early, it means like... Probably late for mass, but it's early in the morning. Yeah, yeah, early on Sunday. <laughs> but it's pa- we oh, shouldn't be late. We've just sorry. got, I've got used to all these families, all these dads with the wives, or wives with the dads and the children. And all the children there. And staying around for biscuits and chit chat. And staying around for all the mass. What yeah, children go and, and there's no kind of special parish program. I used to do this thing oh, called yeah. Live Team, where it's not great, but you have to have all these resources and all these things. Like our parish is knocked out. Oh yes. We get we get a, a visiting priest. It's not even our parish. And off the back of that, we've got the scouts. We've got the RCA, the Regina and, Chaley. And it's not surprising. Each week or fortnight, we see another new family, yeah, another family new member yeah. of the either you know, passing through or yeah. stopping in. Yeah. Yeah, it's not stagnant. It's, it's a lot of youth. There's a lot of children, as children, little ones, diverse life. and all that. Don't need no, no, no diversity officer. It's probably more diverse than Brighton University. Mm. Yes, yeah, so it's not like we need to have printouts and programs and. Yeah, it looks great if you want to do it, but. Great mass, great homily. Yeah, don't let not having it stop you. Yeah. Just do decent mass. And like you said, the fruits of it. The Virginia Jolly Academy. Incredible. Whoa. Scouts. Yeah. Just even the social life that goes. You kind of. It almost won't come on the radar. Got but the we take, barn dance but we, Yeah, but we take it for granted. Yeah, the barn, I bet it would be well attended as well. Anyway, I just want to say that, that it can happen. It is happening. Yeah. And it ain't... Father, the priests are not the main personalities. They just... They do a sermon. You can understand some. can be harder for others. You know, they're knocking about. They attend the, the March for Life, weren't they, and stuff. But yeah. It's not... 
good old father propping everything up, encouraging everything, like yeah. herding chickens. Come on, chop, 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 chop. Yeah, yeah. You know, he just, he, he'll pop up at the event. It feels yeah. like it's going the way that <clears throat> yeah, it's people, supposed to be going. Yeah, like the laity, the laity are doing, doing their doing bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The priest is doing his bit. He's making on. like, he's doing the sacraments and the mass properly. Yeah. And then we're dealing with the other bits. The big wide world. Yeah. yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Let's do some. We do love it. Mm. That does deserve a good old mmm head nodding, my mate. And we, I think. We, Hashtag move to Bedfordshire. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Look, I think it'll be happening. The, I would. Up and down the country, it, these mm. little things are happening. Uh, met a lovely guest on Sunday, mate, who were trying to twist her arm. Without naming think, names. Think, think, who did we see on Sunday? <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah, so hard. I get like that, man. Every day. I'm like, who does he today? Oh, what day is it? I said a little prayer she comes on. It'd be so good if she does. Very powerful. There are just incredible stories out there. And yeah, I'm real, I'm, all of them I'm grateful for, Maria. But some people just think about when I'm not even with them and cry. It's just so, it's just so inspiring in people's lives. It is. And how it... You know, the life of faith and life of following God's will. Yeah, yeah. That is the thing. Not just praying for their own will, but praying, you know, petitioning things, but God's will be done. And it's very beautiful things come from that. So, yeah, please God, our wonderful hostess. With the most dress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As our guest. Yeah. Right, that is the end of the thing, Maria. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And we always love to look at some of your comments, give a heart, whatever, get some chat going. Email. Peter's better at chatting back. I'm better at emailing back. Yeah. But we always enjoy your comments and are, are you know, encouraged by them. So thank you. God bless you. Thanks for watching. One of nine. Good night.